So you have a cool NeoPixel lightsaber that can make any color and has awesome effects, but you're afraid to duel with it because you might break the very expensive blade. This is the solution. As you can see, it's very bright, it's cheaper, and the blade is empty, so you can replace it for like 15 bucks. Let's make one. So we want all of the light to be coming from the hilt, which means we need a very bright LED, and there's only one place I go to for that. LED Supply, who are also sponsoring this video, but more on that later. I've picked out the XCG LED Star, which is only $6. Of course, we also need a lens to focus the light down the blade, so I'll get a 20mm spot optic lens and lens holder for another $2. Then we'll need a heat sink, which will also hold the lens on the LED. In order to smooth out the current from the 9 volt battery to power the LED, we'll need a driver. I'll use the Buck Block DC driver, configured for 1400 milliamps of constant current. While we wait for those to arrive, let's talk about LED Supply. It's an awesome store with everything you need for a lighting project, including the most ridiculously bright LEDs, the drivers to power them, the lenses to focus their light, as well as power supplies, heat sinks, and more. Plus, they have free shipping. Head over to LED Supply from the first link in the description, or check out the complete list of all the products you need for this build in the description below. Alright, the package is here, let's open it up and see what we've got. It's actually very nicely packaged, with each item in its own bubble wrapped baggie, which is important for delicate things like the LED and the lens. Now let's put it together. First, I'll solder two wires onto the LED star's pads, one positive and one ground, and then I'll twist up the wires underneath the LED and slide them through this middle screw part of the heatsink. I'll put the lens and holder on top of the LED and then we can screw on the top of the heatsink and tighten it down. Then we can screw on the bottom of the heatsink. I'll solder the LED wires to the driver's LED output wires, and then we can test it by connecting the driver's power wires to the 9 volt battery. That is bright. This is the hilt I'll be using. It's just a piece of one and a quarter inch PVC with some plastic cutouts that make it look more like a lightsaber. Since we're going to slide this switch into the hilt from the outside, we need to put our electronics in the top of the hilt and push the power and ground wires through the hole. We can also slide the 9 volt battery clip through the hole and into the bottom of the lightsaber. I'll solder the ground wires together and then put them back in the hilt and then solder the power wires to each side of the latching button. Then we can add some glue around the latching button and jam it into the hole. We can connect our battery to the 9 volt clip and slide it in. Now our electronics are finished. I'll cut out some 1 inch PVC which I'll place in the top of the hilt to hold the blade steady. Then I'll slide the blade in and use a screw to tighten it. I'll make sure the battery is pushed in tight on the bottom and then add a screw beneath it so the battery doesn't fall out. This way I can just pull the screw out and change the battery quickly. Now it's done and it is bright. Here's another base lightsaber for comparison. This one's definitely worth having. Make sure to subscribe for more awesome lightsaber tutorials and check out this video to make an epic NeoPixel lightsaber.